This video is about creating petals and leaves in your artwork. You can see some two, two really great examples here. Uh, for me to make my petals and leaves, there's two ways you can do it. Um, number one, I like to start with, with sm for small petals, um, I like to start with balls of clay. That way you can get them all approximately the same size if you need to. Uh, but I like to have them a little bit different. I want to make sure my hands are not super dry. And then what I do is I take that little ball of clay and I just start to form it in my fingers. You can make a huge variety of things with that. Um, most sculpting happens that way. You're just kind of pressing things between your fingers. And then once I get it tapered to where I really like it and it's the right shape or form here, then I can start on my next one. I press my thumb in. I like to form my little flower petals around that. And most flowers have their strongest petals on the outside and their smallest on the inside. So if these are my smallest petals and I'm creating flowers, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push them together and blend them on the bottom and leave them separate on the top. So they're blended together, fully attached. If you're working with really wet clay and you, you don't really necessarily need to do a whole lot of scoring, as long as there's blended spots. But if you're leaving them so that they're completely separate, you do need to do a lot of scoring. So you can keep kind of making these flowers out of the petals, it's kind of therapeutic. This is the same way I might make leaves. And then I'll blend them on the bottom. You're gonna have to look at the structure of your flower and what those petals are gonna end up looking like. And whether or not you're going to have kind of the center is up to you. So if you've got that center like pollinator here, you're going to slip and score it into there. And then I would use some texture. So if you do that, if great. If you're doing really big petals, you might want to follow the same process once they're made, but you might want to cut them out of thinner slabs. This works for leaves as well. And then you can start to form them. So I don't recommend leaving them as slabs, but if you cut them from slabs, you'll have nice thin petals and you can make them a little bit bigger. and then slip and score them together. And that is how this artist made all of her petals.